Sharia blasphemy law upheld as constitutional by Nigerian court. On August 17th, a Nigerian federal appeals court ruled that the Islamic Sharia, aka Islamic law, does not violate the country's secular constitution in a two to one decision. It was also decided that Sharia courts have jurisdiction over blasphemy cases. Sharia courts can impose a death sentence on convicted blasphemers. The appeal was filed in the case of 22 year old Yahya Aminu Sharif, an Islamic gospel musician who was accused of blasphemy in March of 2020. While Sharif went into hiding during the backlash, protesters burned down his family's home. He was soon arrested, and in August 2020, in, in August 2020, uh, he was sentenced to death by hanging. The High Court of the State of Kano uh, ordered the Sharia court to commence with a retrial, citing Sharif's lack of legal representation. Sharif's lawyer then filed an appeal to be tried in a secular court and to challenge the constitutionality of the blasphemy law itself. Uh, Judge Abu Bakr Mazu Lamid, Lamidu said the recent challenge was, quote, more out of sentiment and not backed by the law, agreeing to a retrial but keeping the case in Sharia court. Kano State Attorney General and Justice Commissioner Musa uh, Abdullahi Lawan called the decision a victory for Kano citizens referring to the state in Nigeria that enforces Sharia law. So this is really important to cover for a couple of reasons. One, we have been following the case of uh, Yahya Sharif for many years because like, we were reporting on when this first happened to him, when he was sentenced to death, all this stuff. And so this is one, a very important update on um, a persecuted alleged blasphemer. And two, I had been following the story because there were, you know, reportings about how they were going to try to contest the constitutionality of these laws itself within Nigeria, which is huge. And this is the result of it. Unfortunately, they were upheld. Now, like what was reported, they talk about how the um, contention to the constitutionality of it was more on the basis of like principle and sentiment. Perhaps their case was not well grounded in the foundations of Nigerian law itself. Like they, you can make a principled argument that isn't actually like upheld by legal precedent, right? And that seems to have been the case here. Um, and I, I'm, it's just, really unfortunate. Um, I think this is a huge setback. Um, these laws in Nigeria do need to be completely overturned because there's this weird like parallel legal system that happens of customary law, where if you're Muslim, you're subject to one system of law. If you're Christian, you're subject to another system of law. And which is just completely unfair. Like you're a, a different law. You're the, the standards that you're held to are completely different just on an accident of birth. I can't stand that. I mean, it's against every international agreement of human rights that Nigeria is a signatory to. But here we are. I just, I don't know, like, am I missing something here? Like, these are judges that study the law. How could you... Um, um, these are educated people and look at them. They look serious. Right. And, <laughs> and they come up with a statement. Am I like, am I just like too naive to think like this sounds insane for somebody to say that Sharia law does not contradict our secularism. Like, am I, am I just like, if these people like I, I must be the most biggest idiot in the world to think that like uh, if they these people have a point like sometimes some people say something that just sounds so outrageous that i i question my own wisdom like maybe like 
maybe they they know something that I don't know. Like, is this like insane? Mm -hmm. Is this insane or not insane? Like to you, what, what do you guys think? Like, no, I agree. Or, On its face, it doesn't make any freaking sense, right? But the only way that I can explain it is that there are probably legal precedents that led us to this point, right? And there's a historical yeah. reason why there kind of is this parallel legal system that basically developed in the in the 90s, I believe. Like, okay, but it violates secularism still. I understand, like you were explaining how this comes, where this comes from, but saying that it, that it doesn't violate their secular. Okay, maybe your country's secular constitution is just like a. I don't know, not very secular. I mean, I don't know how they define well, I think, secularism. So this is I, okay. I am no expert on Nigeria's legal and penal code, right? But this is basically a basis of secularism in the form of um, what's it called, customary law, which is similar to the basis of India's secularism. Basically, like this idea of secularism being we are going to like enshrine what these religions are within the law and then everyone is entitled to their own religious practices, but we have to come up with our own state definition of what these practices are like, it's a very different and extremely flawed concept of secularism. So flawed that it's not because, secular at all. Yeah, exactly. Like in India, they have customary law, which is where we get. I mean, know, you're executing people for blasphemy. Okay, you can't be like, oh, like people are being executed for blasphemy. Are like, oh yeah, this doesn't violate our secular constitution. Like, what yeah, am yeah. I? Like? I mean, <laughs> or the aspects okay? of our constitution sure. that enshrine <laughs> protection for the freedom of expression. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know. okay. I guess secularism has lost all its meaning, if that's what you call secular. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. Maybe there's I, some legal definitions that make this make sense on a technical level, right? But on a principled level, it makes no sense. Okay. Remind me to give a bonus to whoever on our team was responsible for this cover. Okay, yes, because... I did want to talk about this. Having the Prophet <laughs> Muhammad seated amidst all the judges like he's in court. Oh, genius. <laughs> yes, this is pretty good, actually. Like, I, that, the cover designer requires a bonus for this. <laughs> this is pretty good. <laughs> like, all the judges are sitting here, and one of them is Muhammad. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, okay. Okay, cool. Oh, Charles is bringing up a good point. I can't highlight the comment on my phone. He said, I just looked up the Nigerian constitution. Article 10 says this, the government of the federation or of a state shall not adopt to any religion as a state religion. Well, that doesn't make any sense based on how Nigeria operates nowadays. It literally I makes mean, no sense. Yeah, so what does it mean to not have a state religion where you're executing laws that are religious? Like, that's, if that's... And they say that, that oh, Connor establish... State has a right to execute if, that, if the laws are based on religion, how else would you establish a state religion than having laws that are religious? Anyways, maybe you just officially say you just like don't ignore officially don't say it that like apparently they're not religious just nominally like we're just like we're just not going to say it so we're going to just do religious things but because we're not saying officially saying that it's a religion that's good, good enough for the constitution. Oh, it makes no sense. It makes no yeah. sense. Yeah. I have some comments. I hope that there is like some sort of case that comes forward that actually does present a really good structured argument on the basis of legal precedent that can challenge these things because it's so direly needed in Nigeria. Hey guys, if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy Cali, you know like me, then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description below. Because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.